Hey, it's Janelle McClarty, the owner of EncoreWebsites.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Asana, which is a project management tool for your business or just for yourself personally. So I'm just going to dive right in and go to Asana.com. All right, so I'm in the middle of reorganizing my project management software that I'm currently using. Um, it's a little bit much and convoluted. I need something simple. So I'm going to try out Asana. So, well, again, so Asana is a work management platform used for teams to stay focused on their goals, projects, and daily tasks in order to grow your business. So this is just a little overview from their website. And I want to show you quickly the pricing because a lot of people, this video is for mainly startups and I like Asana because you can start off with the free one and then just move on up um, as your business grows. So premium plan is not even much, 10 bucks a month, 25 bucks a month, and then you have the custom enterprise plan. So, and the features are pretty good as well. So. I'm just gonna jump right in. So if you're getting started, you would press this button to try it out and just put in your details. So your company name, all that good stuff. But I'm just gonna log in. All right, so once you log in, it looks like this. You're in the home section and it will just automatically tell you in this area what tasks you have to do within the next five days here and then the recent projects that you're working on. So I already have, as I said, I've used it, but I kind of like put it on the back burner, but I really wanna try using it again. Um, I tried using other project ma management tools like HubSpot, Monday.com, and as I said before, I found it a little bit too much. I want something simple, so I'm venturing back over to As Asana. So first step, you're in the home section, you're going to add or create a new project. There's all these general templates that you can use. So you can use a meeting agenda, um, a business plan layout, company goals and milestones, but I'm making something to manage my projects and I it's very simple, the template I wanna make. And I'm just gonna make it myself instead of using their templates, their pre-made templates. So I'm gonna call it project management. It's gonna go under the Encore team. I don't wanna add a description. So here's the views that they give you. You can make um, your project management under, or whatever template you're using, you can make it in a list view, in a board view, or in a calendar view. Timeline view is available in the upgraded version, but I am okay with all of these views. I'm actually gonna make this project in a board view because that's how I envision um, my website projects to be in a, in a board view. Um, and I'm gonna make this title a little more specific. So web design project management. Website design projects, boom. And I'm gonna add it in my Encore folder. Now I'm gonna create the project. So this is what board view looks like. Um, when it's in list view, it will be just in a straight list. And when it's in calendar view, you're gonna see it in the calendar. So projects that are, the differences for me would be, if you want something in list view, you're the type of person that likes looking at lists, likes checking things off, just likes things in a vertical layout. Um, if you're a more visual person um, and you want to see an overview of where you are, you want to see a board. So you see like, this is my to do. This is what I'm doing right now. And this is, these are the things that I'm done. And you can like shift things over left, right, and center. And then calendar view is good for people who are strictly like the projects are strictly date related. So you want to see an overview of like, okay, this needs to be done in this date. That's not that. like I have too much on Friday. Let me shift it over to here. So that is what the calendar view is good for. Um, you don't have to commit to one, but you do because you can just keep switching back and forth to which one you, which view you want to see. But 
you do have to start setting it up in one format, okay? So I wanna set my website design projects in the board view. My headings, I'm going to change by clicking right here. And my headings are gonna be different than these. So instead of to do, in progress, and done, I'm gonna have a tiny bit more detail. So I'm gonna put new requests. I'm gonna put, the next one's gonna be proposal. Proposal, oops, proposals. And then design in progress. And I'm gonna add another one called launch. And then I want one more. I just press enter to go to the next one called upsell. All right, so if you can look, I'm scrolling from left to right. Let me just move this over so you can see everything in full view. So I'm gonna show you how, like this is so simple when you look at it like this. So I'm gonna show you how I would use this and how you can use this for your business, whether you're a website designer or any type of business, you can be a um, florist, you can be in e-commerce, like selling things online, you can be a construction contractor, a realtor. If you wanna manage the tour, you would have new leads, like someone who inquired on a new lead. Then you would, um, let's say the next step after they inquire about a lead, you would have a showing, schedule showing. Then you put them over here to schedule a showing. Then next step would be um, review of showing. So you have a sit down, um, talk about like, do they like it? Do you wanna make an offer? Then you can put like offer made. Then you can put sold or not sold. And then you go through it all over again, right? Um, so I'm gonna use this one uh, and show you how I would organize and manage projects. So right here, I would put in the company name or the customer's name, whatever you prefer. So let's say I'm working with ABC Industries. Or you know what, let's make it more specific. Let's put um, Kim's Hat Company, right? So that's the name of their company and I'm working on Kim's Hat website. So I'm gonna put a description, Kim needs a website for her hat company. And then I'm gonna put that it's due at the end of this month and it's assigned to me. If you have other teammates, you would assign it to them, whatever. Um, I love this area because you can put real-time updates and let's say um, Kim called today. I need to get back to her. I'll put I'll put that in the notes and then I'll put in a comment And so everyone can see like the progress um, In real time if especially if you're working alongside another person or you just want to go back in your notes and let's say a week from now Kim calls me and says, oh, you know what? I um, I tell her, oh, I need the login details. I sent you an email that I need the login details. And she says, oh, I didn't get that email or no, I didn't, I didn't see that. Then I can look at my notes and say, hey, I sent that email on October, blah, blah, blah. And I see everything in real time here once I create a note. So let's say I'm gonna test, make a comment, boom, it's here. And it's gonna just update the time as the time keeps going. So it's 1.58, October 17th. It's just gonna keep it there. <laughs> Um, so this is, I, I would typically, another thing I would do is put Kim's contact details here. I'll put their email as well. Just any descriptive information I would need, I would just put in here, throw it in here. That's it. And that's it. I would close that. So here's, if Kim's a new company that I'm working with, I'll put her under new requests check out what she needs. She needs a website, so I'm gonna send her a proposal. Once the proposal is sent, I'll put it here, 
Um, let's say we talk, follow up, she likes it, she pays her invoice. Now I'm gonna get started on the design. So I'll put designs in progress here. Then once her design's complete, she likes it, that could be like a week or two later, then I'll put it in launch. So we're gonna launch her website and you know do all the tasks that are required within the launch area. And then once the launch is complete, the project's complete, I'm gonna upsell. Maybe I have maintenance services, social media marketing services, but she's just gonna stay in this section. And then we do it all over again. And let's say there's a new customer, Billy. Let's say that we have another customer, Damien. Let's say we have another customer, Tony Ann. Like we can just have as many new requests as we can here, keep going and going. But then the thing is, they're not all going to be in the same area. Let's say, let's say it looks like this. So when I open up Asana and I see this, I'm gonna automatically know that, okay, this is what I gotta do today. I got to get Tony Ann's request, which is new, and send her a proposal, boom. So my goal is to get everything from the left side to the right side. So once I keep going, this means I'm complete. Um, and by priority as well. So I sent all these proposals, now let me follow up with let me put her at the bottom. Let me follow up with Billy. Let me follow up with Omar. Let me follow up with Tony Ann. Let's say I follow up with these guys and Omar made a payment. Boom. Now I got to look at Damien's designs. Is his designs done? Look at Omar's designs. Is his designs done? Damien's is done. Okay, we got to launch this now. Boom. I'm going to launch Damien's. Oh, did I upsell Kim on her um, website maintenance? Okay, let me follow up with her on that. Cara, did, did I upsell her on her social media marketing? Okay, let me follow up with her on that. And I keep doing that. And it's just a at a glance view of what needs to be done and what's priority. So this is how I'm going to organize my projects. And if you need help on the headings or setting this up for yourself, um, I can definitely help you out with that because I understand that every single business and industry is different, but this layout and how customizable it is, you can change the headings, make more um, columns if you want or less columns if you need, that is where the thought comes in. So this is Asana, this is how I'm gonna use it to manage my web design projects. And, um, oh, let me show you how it looks in list view. So, but as I said, some people do like lists and they would be fine looking at it like this. Let's see how calendar view looks. So anything with a date will show up here. So Kim is the only thing I put a date in and I put it for the 31st, it's here. If I put dates on the rest of them, they would pop up here too. And I'll see that, okay, let me put a date for example. So let's put a date on Damien. That Damien's is due here. And let's go back. So now I see that Damien is priority over Kim. Let me work in Damien's first and then get to Kim's because you know you can look at it by date now. So I hope that helps. Um, this is how, as I said, I manage my I'm going to manage my projects using Asana. Um, there are other let's say things you can use Asana for, like instead of just managing projects, uh, I can use it for a content calendar, um, social media marketing content calendar, that's what I'm gonna use it for next. I can use it for my to-do lists, um, a lot of different things. So I'm gonna make videos on those things separately, but for now, if you need help on how to do, just manage your projects using Asana, feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, you can send me a DM on Instagram, or just click the link in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube. And yeah, I'll tell you how you can customize it based on what you're doing for your business. All right, so I hope this helps you. Um, yeah, I hope this video wasn't too long either. But once again, my name is Janelle McClarty, owner of Encore Websites, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos and tutorials like this. And hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.
23 and 1, it almost drove me crazy.